This video begins a new cycle of brief summaries of great books on psychology and personal development. You can listen to this short summary and it might help you understand if you wish to read a full book. Today's book is one of the classics, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is a self-help book written by Stephen Covey in 1989. It is a book that aims to help people become more effective in their personal and professional lives by teaching them seven habits that they should adopt. The first habit is to be proactive. This means taking initiative and being responsible for your own actions and circumstances, rather than reacting to external events or other people's actions. Being proactive means taking control of your life and making things happen, rather than waiting for things to happen to you. To be proactive, you must recognize that you have the power to choose your actions and attitudes, and that you are responsible for the results of those actions. This requires a shift in mindset from being passive and reactive to being active and proactive. It also requires a willingness to take risks and make decisions, rather than waiting for someone else to make them for you. Being proactive is an essential habit for personal and professional effectiveness, as it enables you to take control of your life and make things happen, rather than simply reacting to circumstances. It also helps you to develop a sense of ownership and accountability, which are important qualities in any area of life. The second habit is to begin with the end in mind. This means setting clear goals and having a plan for achieving them. It involves visualizing the desired outcome and taking the necessary steps to make it a reality. To begin with the end in mind, you must be clear about what you want to achieve and why it is important to you. This requires setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals. It also requires developing a plan for achieving those goals, which involves breaking them down into smaller, more manageable tasks and taking action on a regular basis. Beginning with the end in mind is an essential habit for personal and professional effectiveness, as it helps you to focus on what is most important and to make progress towards your goals. It also helps you to stay motivated and to make the most of your time and resources. The third habit is to put first things first. This means prioritizing important tasks and managing your time effectively. It involves identifying what is most important in your life and focusing on those things first, rather than wasting time on less important tasks or activities. To put first things first, you must be able to distinguish between what is important and what is urgent, and prioritize accordingly. This requires setting priorities based on your values and goals, rather than simply reacting to external demands or distractions. It also requires effective time management skills, such as planning, scheduling, and creating a daily to-do list. Putting first things helps you to avoid becoming overwhelmed by the demands of daily life and to achieve a sense of balance and fulfillment. By prioritizing important tasks and managing your time effectively, you can increase your productivity and achieve your goals more efficiently. The fourth habit is to think win-win. This means striving for mutually beneficial outcomes in your relationships with others. To think win-win, you must be willing to see things from other people's perspective and to seek mutually beneficial solutions. This requires good communication skills, such as active listening, empathy, and the ability to negotiate and compromise. It also requires a mindset of abundance, rather than scarcity, and a belief that there is enough to go around for everyone. Thinking win-win is an essential habit for personal and professional effectiveness, as it helps you to build strong, positive relationships with others. It also helps you to achieve mutually beneficial outcomes and to create a sense of cooperation and teamwork. By striving for win-win situations, you can create value for yourself and others and avoid the negative consequences of win-lose or lose-win outcomes. The fifth habit is to seek first to understand, then to be understood. This means listening actively to others and trying to understand their perspective before trying to persuade them. It involves empathy and the ability to see things from another person's point of view. To seek first to understand, you must be willing to listen actively to others and to ask questions to clarify their thoughts and feelings. 
This requires good communication skills, such as paying attention, asking open-ended questions, and avoiding interrupting or judging. It also requires a willingness to suspend your own assumptions and biases, and to be open to learning from others. Seeking first to understand is an essential habit for personal and professional effectiveness, as it helps you to build strong, positive relationships with others. It also helps you to communicate more effectively and to resolve conflicts more effectively. By listening actively to others and trying to understand their perspective, you can create a sense of mutual respect and build trust with others. The sixth habit is to synergize. This means working effectively with others to achieve greater results. It involves the ability to collaborate and combine the strengths of different individuals to create a whole that is greater than the sum of its parts. To synergize, you must be willing to work with others towards a common goal and to value the unique contributions of each team member. This requires good teamwork skills, such as communication, collaboration, and cooperation. It also requires a mindset of inclusivity and a willingness to learn from others. Synergizing is an essential habit for personal and professional effectiveness, as it helps you to achieve greater results by working effectively with others. The seventh habit is to sharpen the saw. This means taking care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually in order to maintain the energy and effectiveness needed to practice the other six habits. It involves self-renewal and investing in your own well-being. This may involve activities such as exercise, healthy eating, stress management, learning, and personal growth. It also requires setting aside time for self-care and taking breaks to rest and recharge. Sharpening the saw is an essential habit for personal and professional effectiveness, as it helps you to maintain the energy and effectiveness needed to practice the other six habits. It also helps you to achieve a sense of balance and fulfillment in your life. Overall, the seven habits are designed to help individuals become more effective in their personal and professional lives by developing their character and skills in important areas such as time management, communication, and teamwork. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. There will be plenty more videos with useful information. Thanks for watching, see you next time.